Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. Feet up on the dash and the calling open road. Road trip classics on the radio. With your hand tied in mind, there's no such thing as time. Now we can go anywhere you want to go. to grab some time to myself but um nurses have just come in and said that they've got an, a urology on the phone so I ran out and Susie's got a date for her urinary, urinary catheter change and if he can't do that they're going to do the suprapubic catheter and the nephrostomy changes so that's all good news I'm not going to give out a date obviously but it's coming soon so fingers crossed that's all good news and um, um, we confirmed it would all be under general, the anaesthetist will be booked, the transport can't be booked until the week before, so we have to wait a little while for that, but we have a date and it's just something to work towards isn't it? Hi right, everybody, I'm in my hometown of York, my home city. And I thought I'd do something a bit different today. Take you up on the bar walls. So let's go. the portcullis. Thank you.
I'm already boiling, it's 18 degrees. So I've done a little tiny bit and then just come up to Monk Bar. Up them steps. bar walls that you can't reach so you have to walk through the town or on the main road and I've just got to is it Warmgate bar and there are actually people on top of there having lunch you won't be able to see them They're right on the top on that balcony bit Oh, it's a gate. It's a coffee shop. That's why. I just love the huge, big gates. Yeah, so we're at Warmgate Bar. keep walking though it's lots of steps it's not suitable for anyone with any mobility issues Oh, 
that's the Chinese restaurant that I go and get Susie's um, and our Chinese from. Sky blue. just called Sue's to say that I was passing one of the old buildings she used to work in and we stayed on the phone she said stay on the phone with me a video call so I did and I took her along the route where there's no wall but she's doing all right just waiting for Jason to come in she was having a drink of milk. She can't wait to see my little video when I get back. What a beautiful day. I've got to take my, I'm going to have to take my coat off. Absolutely boiling. Might do that now. There we go. Come back. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Got like a gimbal. And it's uh, a bit hard to get used to. But I'm getting there. Because I'm so shaky and I move my hand around all the time. I'm a little fluffy mic because it was I knew it'd be windy up on the walls it's bizarre to think that I used to live right by the bar walls where I started the walk you see all these residential houses as you go past What a gorgeous day. Oh, I needed to feel the sun on my face. This is another bit where you come down. Oh no, I think it's shut. Some guys up there doing some work. Cleaning graffiti by the looks of it. Does that mean my does that mean my walk's been cut short? Oh no. Oh well. But it does look as if my um Walk's been cut short for that bit. Because these guys are cleaning something on the wall. Up there. Oh no. I'll take you down here anyway. Okay, so I could probably rejoin it there, but that takes it back round to where it's shut. Never mind.
That's the famous Weatherspoons. Many a day drinking session has been enjoyed in there. <laughs> Well, going this way brings us to the famous York Clifford's Tower. Isn't it magnificent? I might add some facts in for you. If I get a chance. Oh, it's windy. I just spoke to Suze again. Bless her heart. And she told me to stop. Stop and go and get a coffee somewhere. And just enjoy my day. I mean, how lovely of her to say that. When she, there's no way that I could bring her with me. She's so cute. on York Minster. Night at the Shambles. Oh, so cute. I love it.
You're happy there. <laughs> Here we go. First actual trick of the show, hat onto the head. Yep. Yes. Right, kind of, kind of. Let's see, if I do something a little bit more impressive, hopefully you'll all be a little bit more impressed. We're going to try it again, hat to the head. Here we go. Hup -ha. Hit ya. Wow. Oh, what? Oh, this guy's amazing. Oh, look at him go. Oh, little under the leg, up onto. Yes! Nice. All right, that's it. I'm gonna try one more, one more time. Hat onto the head. I realize, madam, are you filming me? No. I wasn't sure if you're filming me or that's man in black technology. Right? <laughs> I'm worried in the middle. I'm gonna forget what I'm doing. Here we go. <laughs> Last time, hat to the head. Hup, cha, whoop. <laughs> um, I will be honest. For any of the adults watching, if any of you knew how much I had to drink, you can impress by this bit alone. So. <laughs> Here you go, hat to the head. Yes! Oh, I didn't realize some of you clapped, some of you cheered, some of you a little bit impressed. It was this of it. You didn't clap and cheer. You were watching the whole time thinking, wait a second, that's a magic hat. And do you know what, young man? You were right. Just for you, I'm going to show you a magic trick. Um, everyone else, you can watch if you like. So. Sir, you can see, hat is empty, nothing in the hat. Okay. Um, young man, can you pick any number between one and five? You got a number? Can you say the number to the hat? Four. Can you shout the number to the hat? Four. I like the way your shouting voice is very similar to your speaking. That's good. Four. All right. Hat is empty, nothing in the hat. 
Here we go. Four. Was that your number? <laughs> Why does he do it? Why? Why? Why does he do it? Why? I will be honest, anyone who didn't find that bit funny, you're really going to hate the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I see, guys, I think we're ready to start. What I want to do is I want to show you something dangerous. I want to show you something impressive. I also want to show you something that has never been done on the street before. But just before I do that, at the moment, I want to try and do a tiny bit of housekeeping because there's a few people standing watching, but we're kind of dotted around a little bit. And the end of the show, the thing that I do is very dangerous. And I just want to make sure that no one gets hurt or no one gets injured. So I'm going to ask, hey, guys, sitting there. Can I ask you guys to come a bit closer, just fill in this little gap over here? Yep, perfect, thank you very much. Can I ask you guys to take a little big step in for me? Yep, can I ask you guys to come just a bit closer? Perfect. It's really good. <laughs> How funny. The guy on the um, doing the show, he said, I'm a film, and he thought I was doing some men in black technology with my little gimbal camera. That was funny. Right, making my way back to the car park now. I've got Sue's, her famous Reuben sandwich that she wanted. It's such a beautiful day. And hopefully she'll be hungry enough and able enough to eat something when I get back. I hope you've enjoyed the little walk around the bar walls with me. It was a shame that we couldn't finish it off. because it was closed. Looks like they were cleaning it or something. But saying that, I wasn't really prepared with my big coat and everything. And as I say, I've never actually done the walls before, although living here for 30 odd years. So that was fun.
that was a really lovely, well needed little trip. I didn't have a long enough to go back home, home. But seeing as I was in York, I just went round York. And it worked out well because Sue's asked me, she's obviously feeling peckish enough for me to have got her her is it Dick Turpin Reuben sandwich I got a Harry Trotter so I'll take them back to her and so that's our dinner today and I couldn't resist in Mary Shortle I got her a little present and he's adorable! He's a little beaver! Oh, she's gonna love him! She's gonna love him! We've been watching little reels of beavers. I don't know if any of you have seen them. They're doing the rounds on Instagram. Instagram and um, Facebook of the little beavers, beavers carrying their vegetables oh my gosh it's so cute so me Jason and Sue's have been watching reels to cheer us up of these little beavers so she's she's gonna absolutely she's gonna love him you know I'm not doing anything and sometimes it's it's just nice to to treat to treat her for something other other than you know a bit of fruit or some cans of coke or things like that which is all I seem to seem to buy her well she seems to want bless her I feel refreshed and I feel ready to go back and fight the fight with her I spent nearly all of the time on the phone to her which was brilliant she was on the phone with me as I was walking around filming which was it was brilliant she felt like she was with me and then I can edit the video and she'll be she'll see everything else that I filmed right enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Keep smiling. Right, I've got, everybody, I've got back. I've got Susie her sandwich, but there's more important things to give her first. So, this is for you. Wow. I'm not going to film Susie's face. Oh, wow. Hang on, then. Is that all that's in the bag? Yeah. You didn't. Well, I couldn't get the the actual one. Oh no, Emma! Look at him! Oh, it's a beaver! Isn't it? It's a beaver! Isn't he cute? Thank you. I couldn't resist him, but he's a different make. He's not a jelly cat. They didn't have him in. What is he? Hansa. Hansa. There's, they had loads of that make in Mary Shortle. And I couldn't resist I'm him. I'm surprised. Mary Shuttle have got an amazing collection. Well, I asked them if they had we love a jelly cat Shuttle. beaver. And Who was they in? giggled and said no. I don't know because I don't know them. I don't know. Oh, them. I was going to say you'd know if it was a dad. I'd never actually been. I've never actually been in. I was just telling people. Wow. In 30 odd years of living there, I've never actually been. Look at his little Isn't teeth. Isn't it spectacular when you go? Look how many are in. Look how many are in the catalogue. Do you like? Do you like him? I love him. Thank you. You're welcome. Shall we eat our sandwiches now? Yes, please. Okay. This one's yours. That's the Reuben. Reuben. Oh, Reuben. Did Reuben. They Reuben. Blow -touch Reuben. The cheese. I think they did everything. I got a video of it, but I couldn't. I don't know if I filmed that bit. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. I got. You know, you can have some. Uh, Sue's trying to feed Jason. I got a Harry Trotter. Wow, look at that. Don't explain why. 
Because it's because Dave's a wizard. No. Yeah. Because Harry Potter was the inspiration. Uh, the shambles was the inspiration for Diagon Alley. Well, that as well. But because they ran out of chicken shawarma that I wanted, because they'd been so busy uh, with the tourists' yeah, trade. I mean, the reason why it's named that way, not the I know. One. Yeah, I know that. No, and I got it because it's um my son's called David Weasley. He's a wizard. Coast in the morning to find a place where no one knows our faces or our names. If we don't leave now, we might never make it out alive. Plans are changing, rearranging. 